The Lenovo K6 Note is the latest smartphone in the Lenovo Note series of smartphones. It is powered by an octa-core processor and comes in a metallic body with a fingerprint sensor as well. We did a teardown of the device to see what it packs on the inside. Let's go ahead and take a peek. We started off by switching off the device and removing the hybrid SIM card slot. This phone doesn't have any visible screws on the outside and the back cover is similar to the Redmi Note 4 as well as Honor 6X. So we pry open the back cover with a slim plastic tool. The major part of the back cover is made out of aluminium. The top and bottom part are made of plastic in order to improve the signal strength. The back cover houses the cutouts for the dual camera setup, LED light, fingerprint sensor as well as the Lenovo branding. At the right side we have the volume rocker and power key attached to the cover itself. At the left side we have the opening for the SIM card slot and at the bottom we have the cutouts for the micro USB and speaker holes. Let's remove the protective metal bracket over the main logic board to proceed. We have 5 silver torx screws and 3 black torx screws holding down the metal bracket. Let's unscrew them now. This metal bracket along with the top plastic cover have small circuits to improve the cellular as well as Wi-Fi coverage strength. Now let's disconnect the ribbon cables connected to the main logic board. First up is the display cable, then we have the battery connector and at the last the micro USB assembly as well. Let's proceed to separate the USB assembly which is held in place by 5 torx screws. After undoing all the screws, you will be able to remove the top cover of the USB assembly which also holds the speaker assembly. Let's disconnect the ribbon cable from the main logic board in order to remove the micro USB assembly. Let's take a closer look at the components of the micro USB assembly. First up is the speaker. Next is the micro USB assembly which holds the micro USB port and the primary microphone. Let's remove the battery by pulling the tab. Make sure you pull the tab in the same direction in order to release the glue holding the battery. We have a 4000 mAh battery that's made by Lenovo themselves. Let's proceed to the main logic board. It is held in place by two screws and a power key ribbon cable and the digitizer ribbon cable. Let's remove them now to take out the logic board. The main logic board is now free from the phone body. Let's remove the rear camera, front facing camera and fingerprint sensor from the logic board. The front facing camera is an 8 megapixel 1x4 inch Sony IMX219 XMOR R sensor with 1.12 micron pixel size. The camera is a 16 megapixel unit and the fingerprint sensor is an FPC102X fingerprint sensor. We then remove the metal brackets over the processor and other chips in the main logic board. So let's take a look at the various components now. The back side of the logic board houses the volume rocker connector, the display connector, battery connector, micro USB connector, dual LED flash, Qualcomm WTR2965 RF transceiver, Invincense i268D, 6 axis gyroscope, accelerometer and digitizer connector. The front side of the logic board consists of 3.5mm audio jack, an ambient and proximity sensor, hybrid dual SIM card slot, secondary microphone, Qualcomm MSM 8937 Snapdragon 430 Octa-Core processor, Qualcomm Power IC PMI8952, PMI8937 Power Management IC, Samsung KMRX 1000BM 32GB eMMC internal storage, 3GB LPDDR3 RAM combo and a fingerprint sensor connector. Let's take a closer look at the display now. The display panel is the Tianma NT35596 5.5 inch 1080p LCD panel which also houses the vibrator, internal speaker, digitizer connector and the display ribbon cable. We give the Lenovo K6 Note a repairability score of 8 out of 10. Like our previous two teardowns, only the back of the phone needs some effort. Once you pass that, it's fairly easy to remove the parts. That's it for a teardown guys, now we proceed to put the parts back to check whether the phone is fine after the teardown.
As you can see, it is functional as it was before. Please note that teardowns will most definitely void your warranty and if you're planning to do so, keep that in mind. That's it for the video guys, if you like this video please do hit the like button and as always please do share and subscribe to our videos. Thanks for watching.